I want um, and I'm looking to have this union budget to be pro-technology companies that are being built up in India today. Um, you'd see example of Flipkart and Housing.com and, and Ola Cabs and a uh, lot of very exciting companies being built up in India which are serving domestic markets. And unfortunately, however, you see that Singapore and other countries uh, with a regulatory um, environment, uh, the financial environment uh, looks to be better. So um, I, I would love to, I have wild expectation from Modi government, a very progressive government uh, to, to make corrections um, and, and bring out regulations which can make India a little bit more business friendly, especially for new, uh, the technology driven sector that is developing here. Well, we are a cloud telephony company um, and um, uh, India may have 200 million people uh, with internet connections, but uh, Literally, you know, 800 million, 900 million, everybody has mobile phones. Um, um, and telephone is a very natural communication uh, mechanism. So literally every startup, uh, every enterprise that, that we come across, which has customers, need a contact center where customer can call. Um, and we provide the technology where small businesses can, can use our services to have a hosted call center or contact center at a very nominal price of 1,000 rupees per, per month kind of uh, thing versus uh, a larger enterprises, um, a Pepsi's and PNG's uh, running their, their, uh, their telephony solutions on our platform. So we are the, the telephony enabler for uh, these technology companies so that they can connect with their customers um, at, uh, at, at a very low cost and in a very, very user friendly way without having to worry about the technology. Well, I think there's a long way to go. Uh, I, I think um, uh, if you look at the other countries, right, uh, there's a tax rebate that, that companies get. Um, the, the process of uh, getting investment is very streamlined. Um, there are regulations uh, and, and, the, and, and the policies around how to value um, technology companies. I think th there's a lot of opportunity uh, to uh, make growth, make make uh, progress in that area. For example, the first one, there's no tax rebate for uh, really for the startup companies in India. The second one, you know, um, in terms of uh, bank being able to value um, uh, the IP, intellectual property of the companies, that company like us really invest a lot of money really to uh, to develop, cannot be valued. So that means we cannot take loans, right? Um, uh, the a lot of changes recently has have happened in terms of getting foreign direct investment. Um, so if the process can be, you know, improve a little bit more, having more visibility around change in the policies, for example, for us, telecom, um, if we can get more uh, visibility around it and the regulatory authorities are more collaborative, um, where they take the industry along rather than just come up with a rule and then, you know, have the industry respond to it later. I think those will be big welcome changes which can make India um, even more uh, uh, business friendly nation and, and give a big impetus to all the great companies that are being built up in India currently. I think there's a, there's a lot of opportunity um, uh, in the private public partnership in especially um, on, on the solutions which are uh, telephony solutions. For example, government, I mean literally uh, we, we work with government um, in, um, in some of the projects uh, that we did towards the early part of, uh, of the journey of this company. Um, everybody has phone, means they can call a number and then um, um, can avail services. So for example, there was a Mandi services where farmers could call um, uh, to listen to um, uh, the prices of the food stocks, right? Um, we did one project with the government called Midday Meal Project, where uh, we allowed government to be able to call up hundreds and thousands of schools on a daily basis and the teachers could punch in the number of kids who got food in that day. Right, allowing uh, uh, in an automated fashion, government to collect this information on a daily basis and uh, and and improve the number of kids who are getting to school. So there's a lot of opportunity because everybody's carrying phone. I mean, you're carrying a phone in your pocket. Um, everybody's watching this show probably is carrying a phone next to them. Uh, so it's a great communication mechanism, and the government can use it uh, to improve the efficiency of the projects that it is doing, uh, it is running for the welfare of the, um, uh, for, for the welfare of the people. Definitely helps. I mean, I met a uh, bunch of people that I had only seen on internet, um, some of my panelists. Uh, um, uh, I think it helps a lot because it allows the startup community to come together and, and learn from each other. So people who are sitting um, uh, in the audience seat, I'm sure in two years, right, 
some of them will be sitting uh, at, at the at, at the panelist, right? Um, so this information exchange, this dynamic information exchange, is very very important uh, for this community because the world in this community changes like within a couple of months. But it's, it's not sustainable. You just have to grow 600 percent three years, and then you are what um, uh, you'll be 300 times, right, of what you are currently. So at early stage, everybody goes through explosive growth, especially if you have a path-breaking product. Right? Look at how Google spread, how Facebook spread. WhatsApp was adding a million uh, subscriber daily basis, um, I think monthly basis or daily basis, some massive numbers. That happens because you come up with an offering which is not 2x better or 3x better, but which is like 10x better. Um, before that, we used to send SMS, which cost us money. With WhatsApp, you didn't cost any money, right? And you wanted to talk with your friend. Um, so. Explosive growth happen, um, any path breaking, any amazing idea in the first couple of years. Um, and after that, it kind of, you know, um, uh, it, it becomes more uh, manageable of 100% growth and maybe later like 40-50% growth. Um, so I think it's totally manageable um, for a couple of years of every new company that is coming that is changing the world. Uh, you can't change the world at 20% growth rate. <laughs>